Good evening and welcome on this Monday night from New York City, where former President Donald Trump arrived late this afternoon, flying here from Palm Beach in the luxury of his private jet, just hours before facing the dim and spartan corridors of a Manhattan courthouse, where he will surrender himself and be arrested, we believe on fraud-related charges. His court appearance tomorrow afternoon expected to coincide with the unsealing of the actual indictment against him, when we may know more for the first time this seriousness of the crimes Mr. Trump is accused of. The arraignment process may spare Mr. Trump some of the indignities associated with a surrender, which typically involves handcuffs, fingerprinting, and a mugshot. Mr. Trump spending the night at Trump Tower just blocks away from where we are as the NYPD and Secret Service carefully secure his movements. New York's mayor tonight warning would-be protesters to control yourselves. Garrett Hake leads off our coverage. Former President Trump touching down in New York City tonight, walking off his plane into a waiting vehicle at LaGuardia Airport, escorted by the NYPD and Secret Service through Manhattan, waving as he then walked into Trump Tower. All ahead of a history-making appearance tomorrow before a New York state judge, the first former president to face criminal charges. Tonight, the mayor with this warning to any protesters outside Mr. Trump's arraignment. Control yourselves. New York City is our home, not a playground for your misplaced anger. President Biden was asked if he's worried about unrest. No, I have faith in the New York Police Department. The NYPD now coordinating with the Secret Service to keep the former president's visibility low during his processing at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Sources familiar with the planning say Mr. Trump will be fingerprinted, but likely won't have a mugshot or DNA swab taken. Secret Service agents will never be more than arm's length away from him. The former president expected to be arraigned on some 30 document fraud related counts, according to two sources familiar with the still sealed indictment. His attorneys vowing a not guilty plea. He's gearing up for a, a battle. Um, you know, this is something that obviously we believe is a political persecution. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's investigation has centered around 2016 hush money payments made by former Trump fixer Michael Cohen to adult film actress Stormy Daniels to buy her silence about an alleged affair with Mr. Trump, which he denies. Falsifying business records could be a misdemeanor, but in an untested legal gamble, Bragg may charge Mr. Trump with a low-level felony. Mr. Trump blasting Bragg on social media as, quote, corrupt, and his case as election interference. The charges from a Democratic DA largely uniting Republicans. I watch it happen all the time in the third world and in developing countries. They, they use prosecutors to go after candidates. Even those expected to challenge Mr. Trump for the GOP nomination are slamming the progressive prosecutor. He doesn't want to charge people with felonies. So now he turns around purely for political purposes and indicts a former president on misdemeanor offenses that they're straining to try to convert into felonies. That is when you know that the law has been weaponized for political purposes. And Garrett, the Trump campaign is insisting this indictment has been helping them. Well, Lester, the campaign has been using the publicity around the indictment as a fundraising tool, and they say it's worked with more than $7 million raised so far. Mr. Trump's legal team, on the other hand, argued before a judge today uh, to not allow cameras in the courtroom, saying they would contribute to a circus-like atmosphere here. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.